ahead of historic presidential elections, Argentina's fate will be decided in a two-way race. That is between front-runner, radical outsider, Javier Milley, ruling Peronist economy minister, Sergio Massa, and center-right former security minister, Patricia Bullrich. All offering starkly different visions for Argentina. Here's a report. Argentines are set to vote in presidential elections on Sunday, a decision that could send the country into a political unknown. Radical outsider libertarian Javier Millet has made himself the candidate to beat. The 52-year-old poster child of voter anger is up against economy minister Sergio Massa and conservative Patricia Bullrich, once pegged as the favorite to win, but now fighting to stay in the race. Regardless of who wins, the next government will have to deal with a gargantuan pile of debt and a weak peso. The electorate has little trust in Argentina's currency, and the country has been engulfed in a deep financial crisis involving runaway inflation that may hit 200% this year. Many have latched onto Millet's burn-it-all-down rhetoric. His proposals include dollarizing the economy, ending currency controls, closing the central bank, and cutting spending sharply. He also favors lax gun controls and tighter rules on abortion. That contrasts with Argentina's 51-year-old economy minister Sergio Massa, who has built up a reputation as a pragmatist and negotiator. He was drafted into his current role last year to turn around the economic crisis, but has struggled to rein in inflation and halt the sliding peso though he has gained ground with popular tax cuts. Hello, Meanwhile, 67-year-old Bullrich, a former security minister, has made promises of economic stability and is running on a tough-on-crime platform. A candidate needs 45% of the vote, or 40%, with a 10-point lead over second place, to win outright on Sunday. Pollsters generally agree the most likely result is that Mille comes first but will face a second round vote with Massa in November. But with polls having proven unreliable for the August primary, no one should be ruling out another surprise.